in this lesson we will learn how to call a function multiple times in python so let's see here we have defined this function q which takes a parameter n and what does it do it calculates the param the cube of n in m and then it prints cube of the number n is equal to m that is what this function cube does then what do we have we have a list here of numbers and what we want to print is the cube of each number in this list so what do we do we are, we are calculating the length of this list and we are running a for loop from i from 0 to length 1 so we are running and all the items of the list we are calculating we are taking out the ith element of the list and we are cal calling cube of x so now when we call cube of x what will happen so the first time let's see when i is 0 we are taking list 1 0 so we are calling cube of 2 because x will be 2 list 1 0 will be 2 so we will get cube of 2 so we will get printed cube of 2 is equal to 8 next time what will happen when i is 1 x will be list 1 1 which will be 3 so now we will call cube of 3 and it will print cube of 3 is equal to 27 and then we will call cube x will be list of list 1 of i where y will be 2 so when i is 2 x will be 5 so when we call cube of 5 it will print cube of 5 is equal to 125 let us run this code and see what will happen so we get this output cube of 2 is equal to 8 cube of 3 is equal to 27 and cube of 5 is equal to 125 suppose we modify it at add another number so now this we have modified the list and we want four outputs we want all the numbers the cube should be printed so now this code should be able to handle it and when we run it we are getting all the four so we have gotten this also cube of 10 is equal to 1000 so here we have iterated over this list and for each number in the li list we have been able to call this method cube of x which is printing the cube of that number okay let's look at one more example here we have defined a function make which takes two parameters s comma m and what does it do it for i in range 0 comma m s1 is equal to s1 plus m so whatever is given in s we are adding it to s1 m number of times so if it was one it will come once if it is twice it will come twice and so on now what are we wanting to do we have gotten a name python and we want to get this kind of an output so p should be printed once y should be printed twice t should be printed three times h should be printed four times o should be printed five times and n should be printed six times that is what we want so now what are we doing we, this is all the num uh, characters of python that we are iterating on so we are taking out the length of the name and for i in range 0 comma len 1 what are we doing we are taking out one character at a time from the name and we are calling make with that string which is that single character and i plus 1 we are doing i plus 1 because the first time i is 0 the first time we are incrementing it so that at least 1 happens and then we are printing r1 so when we run this code what will happen we will get our desired output let us change this string to say edufect do we get a similar pattern when we run it on edufect we can see we are getting the same pattern e came once d came twice u thrice we are getting the same pattern so what are being able what have we been able to do here we have been able to take a string for each character of it we have been able to call this function make and with the position of it depending upon the position we are being able to create a string of that many characters here and print it similarly if we take the number say one two three four what will happen let's run it so we've gotten this pattern one two two three 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 four 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 so this function and using it in this fashion has been able to we have been able to print this kind of a pattern so here again we have created a function and we have been able to call it multiple times within this loop and using it we have been able to solve this problem okay